guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of both of these. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, allergies. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> Exactly. Mm hmm. I'm not going to question anything anymore. It sure did. Yeah, she and Mega this time. Oh. All I can do is laugh. Oh my god, this child. I don't know anymore. I, I just don't. I really don't. <laughs> oh, oh, this chick. Oh, my God. Oh my god, freaking allergies. And I can do allergy medicine, but still. I'm probably going to have to take that after I'm done recording before I edit. Oh. Yeah, I get that, but you really honestly don't need to worry about anything. I mean, Maple's just Maple, overpowered as fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is not a splash, that is a wave pool. See, I love the fact that Kasumi is still wanting to train and just, you know, level herself out and stuff, but still, you need a break every once in a blue moon. It's a blue moon! Here comes my dog. Oh. 
Let me guess, Federica. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're not going to be doing that running around, little dog. Well, wouldn't it just be better for them to just go with you? Sally. Damn. See, this is kind of sometimes at the beginning of the show, I wish Federico was in the guild with everyone else because it feels like to me, Federico works so much better with them rather than with the group she's with now. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Seriously, just like that? Nah, because she's going to report back to her guild and be like, oh, hey, Sally was like this and like that and whatever. I don't trust her. I like her, but I don't trust her. That's not bad.
So then you get twice as much points instead of being in a large group where you just get one. Excuse me. Basically. Okay, complicated yet simple and easy. I'm gonna turn my light on since this is like dark in here. Honestly, you guys are making it too easy. Mm. That's so sad, though. Behind you. Uh, that's Sally for you. <laughs> well, honestly, that was easy. A little too easy, though, but hey. <laughs>
this girl just, you know, came and took it like it was nothing. Oh my God. Sally. Oh, you idiots. And then just watch a small veil to get a fucking win. <laughs> I mean, he, okay. Mm -hmm. They didn't like it was fucking nothing. That's how you know. Yeah, you're a little too OP. Hmm? What's that? A decent Sally or something? Yeah, and I think you don't want that, so yeah, don't do that thing. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, nobody's gonna ask. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> but the thing is, are you gonna make it? Like, oh, God. <laughs> she has to be a little kid in the real world. <laughs> Oh my 
god. Hmm. Nice. She gonna use her OP moves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, all these other girls had no match. <laughs> like, oof. Big oof. <laughs> Big chunk of some of this bitch. Like, oh my god. I mean, Sally, <laughs> this girl went. In, I mean, my God, I, I mean, everybody did their role, and I'm glad. But Jesus, I, I don't even think we're done. We're, are we technically done with the event now? I mean, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, it feels like with the way this episode just ended, like yeah, the event's done. Mm -hmm. Let's just move on. Maple tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my child is just too freaking OP. <laughs> but, like, none of these guilds can do much shit, anything. Sally too OP too. You know what? No, it's not just Mabel and Sally. Everybody, everybody in this guild. It's too OP in their own way. Oh my god, like freaking me. I ended up crying. Like, that was so cute. So, yeah, I feel like me is the type of person where she lets me a little kid. Maybe about like, I'm gonna say either an 8 to 10 year old kid. Why are you crying? So. <laughs> See why she got upset. I mean, if I was a little kid playing a game like this, yeah, I get upset too. <laughs> I mean, just like my baby. Till it, mm. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't with this. I mean, they all came in. Ooh, Mabel with her OP. <laughs> like, mm, we can get this in a sit. Like, this child, oh my god. You would think, okay, this is what I kept thinking, like, maybe, I think when that very first event came for this show, and after Maple, you know, <laughs> used her advantages and stuff, you would think that after this, they would be like, alright, Maple, you can't cheat, I, and not to say that she's cheating, because she's not, she's following the rules, and she's allowed to use her stuff, but then at the same time, you over here looking at her like, um... Hold up, time out. Ain't this a little bit too much, honey? I mean, this girl... <laughs> this girl is, like... She's on a whole nother level. Like, what the hell are you gonna do against someone who got, like, a freaking Mecca and an angel? And she could turn into Godzilla like that? I mean, this girl got everything. What What are you supposed to do? <laughs> Get something as her. I mean, this girl, ever since episode one, it's just <laughs> OP as fuck. This child, oh my god. But it was an interesting episode. I mean, I was expecting, especially, you know, seeing um, Maple Sally 
and the other two all playing in on the beach, I was like, okay, are we kind of getting like a half of a beach episode? Everybody's taking a break and stuff. But those four were taking a break, still getting like, you know, their time in and everything while everybody else is still working. And this is like, well, damn, can we just flip that switch? I mean, you've all been working hard and you all deserve a break at the same time. But maybe once this event is done, that's when they'll get their break. Maybe wanting to go to the beach or go swim or whatever again. Who knows? We're going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Toys episode 9 of Bofity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye, guys.